And as Anne was saying, Ethiopia is clearly one of the key focuses of uh, the Secretary of State Blinken's visit to the continent. We're going to talk now about counting the dead in conflicts. It's a vital and often very difficult task necessary to inform loved ones and to keep the memory of those who've been killed alive. We're going to examine this depressing task in Ethiopia on Newsday, fighting between the northern Tigray region and the federal government, supported by Amhara forces, began a year ago. Civilians on both sides have been targeted. Communities are counting the increasing human cost too. A little later, we'll hear from a Tigrayan who is counting the dead in Tigray. But we can hear now from the Amhara Association of America, doing the same for Amhara people. And we can speak to Honi Mandefro, who's currently in Ethiopia, Welcome to the program. Uh, it's always difficult in conflict to find out exactly who uh, is dying. How do you go about getting your information? Thanks for having me. We uh, employ uh, multiple uh, methods to uh, collect and verify information about uh, this. We do have people on the ground collecting information on a regular basis. Uh, they go to places where massacres happen whenever possible. Uh, but when that's not possible, we rely on uh, volunteers sharing names and lists smuggled out of you know areas inaccessible to us. We also interview people uh, in IDP centers who uh, fled uh, scenes of massacres. Uh, and also we interview people remotely, even uh, when within their own village to try to understand um, you know, the number of casualties, uh, when did it happen and, and how how that that happened. So it's a it's a, a combination of, you know, people on the ground, remote uh, interviewing of people, survivors and family members, and also volunteers uh, sharing uh, lists and information for validation to a number that we publicly advertise. Are you looking mainly at civilians or do you also count the cost of, for example, members of Amhara armed groups who are fighting against the, the Tigrayans on the side of the federal forces? We are only focused on atrocities against civilians. And remember the, the Amara Association of America that is uh, pre-war and we've been documenting atrocities against Amaras everywhere in Ethiopia, not just in Tigray. Mm. Uh, so, uh, we, we, we focus on civilians uh, in all of these efforts. Our focus is uh, to try to understand the reproductive consequence and the casualties, this uh, ongoing multiple uh, you know, civil wars and ethnic conflicts is affecting Ethiopia and how Amaras are affected by that. So over the last um, one year, we have, uh, we have identified and documented the killing of uh, 4,590 civilians, uh, many of them in the context of the war in northern Ethiopia. Uh, about 3,190 people, uh, civilians, were killed in the in the context of the northern uh, the war in in Tigray and the Amara mm. region. But also, we 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 have documented uh, close to 1,000 civilians killed in different parts of Oromia region, Metekel, uh, where the Gumizi militia militia are also fighting the government. Also, uh, some of the small amount of this number also include uh, civilians that have been killed by government security forces. Forces, but overall, so far we have documented uh, um, 4,590, right. and we believe that's just a small fraction. Yeah, of course, because it's difficult to get exact numbers in these cases. Is the focus for you giving some sort of dignity to those who have passed away? Or is it perhaps exerting some sort of political pressure on leaders so that civilians aren't targeted? I, I think it's a, it's a both, and uh, at a personal level, this is a way of you know sharing uh, to 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 extent possible the pain of our community. The Amara community, unfortunately, has been you know experiencing massacres since early uh, since 1991, and uh, there were rounds of massacres that were not documented. So by doing this, we're trying to, number one, obviously document what's ha what is happening to the people, to the Amara people, mm. um, uh, including ethnic cleansing in, in many parts of the country. It's also, we, we do want uh, you know, to keep the memory of these people, to, we want to uh, re retain their, their, their personality, their stories, their uh, legacies as much as that's possible. So we promise this might eventually, you know, evolve into a memorial of some sort. But uh, we are uh, we are uh, combining the list to make it, you know, to remember these people, 
to share their story, to kind of share their pain. But yeah. also we, we have to educate our, our own people and the policymakers about what's happening to the civilian, to our civilians in different parts of the country and perhaps, uh, you know, contribute to some form of transitional justice. Uh, it's, it does yeah, look, trans you know, Transitional justice is, but... is a very big question, of, of course. Um, I'm afraid we're going to have to, 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 to leave it there. But thanks so much to Hone Mandefro uh, from the Amhara Association of America. We're going to hear a little later in the program about someone doing a similar job uh, for the Tigrayan community.